Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I have two of the mega boxes of Topps Holiday Baseball 2022. One of my favorite products every year. I I really enjoy the image variations and the short or the short prints with the uh, you know the candy cane bats or the the candy cane striped sleeves or the snow in the background and lights around the neck or the bat or you know different little things that they do. I find them to be fun in my opinion um and also too this is a very affordable rip 25 dollars is the current price for these uh they used to be like 22 ish um but um you know you do get i think it's 10 packs 10 cards per pack uh yes 10 cards 10 cards per pack you are guaranteed a relic or a um autograph per box and there are usually special foil cards, about five of them per box. And they have, you know, a little bit of a, a holiday feel. I enjoy these. I think they're fun. Uh, we've, I've pulled some really cool looking short prints in the past. So let's get into it, see what we get. Um, I did order these from the Topps website. They did come in the mail today. And you also get a holiday box topper, Shohei Otani. Eh, cool looking, you know, for the most part. Um, for some reason, I actually have one of the ones from last year, um, which looked like this year. Last year's were very off-centered. Um, this year's looks pretty good centering-wise, in my opinion. I mean, I know it's hard to, you know, get a real look at the, uh, the centering of these, but pretty cool, in my opinion. I like them. I think they're fun. And let's get into the first box, see what we get. And in case anybody is curious, which is something that I am usually bad at, which actually it's a little hard to see on the camera. But I'll pull the box up here quick as I bump the camera. Here are the um, odds metallic holidays, like those foils I was telling you about. Uh, one in two packs, so we should get five per box. And we have the short print, one in seven, so you should get at least a short print per box. And then the uh, rare holiday variation sets 120, super rare, uh, one in 160. So, all right, so let's get into it, see what we get. Would be nice if we could pull an auto. Auto is usually kind of tough to pull out of these, in my opinion. And uh, so here we go. We got Luis Arise, Josh Lau, first rookie, Adam Wainwright, Joey Votto, Joe Ryan. And just kind of want to double check. I got, you got to really pay attention to some of these cards too. I don't, I haven't, since I haven't personally opened up any of these yet, um, usually the foils are a little risen. Uh, they're raised a little bit so you can at least feel them you might, if you can't really tell for the eye. And then you, I really need to look at the cards too. Uh, Springer, Cabrera, Castillo, and Buxton. Because you, I, I don't know if the image variations are turned around so i will admit until we come across one we'll find out if they're turned around or not but so far doesn't look like anything apologize for the uh large intro to this as well though for this uh marachino rookie shane bieber jt machevic clayton kershaw and we do get Okay, so it looks like the foils have a different little border, um, which is new this year. Uh, same number, three-digit code on the back, but Brandon Nemo, perfect name for me being a Met fan. Nice to see him get re-signed by the Mets uh, yesterday. And we got Nemo base, Colton Welker, his first picture in a Giants uniform to my understanding. Uh, Christian Walker, Luis Gill, rookie, and Michael Lorenzen. So, I'm trying to see if we can get any of those top rookies. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this set is a 200 card base set as well. At least that's what it's always been in the past. We got Ryan Peapot, rookie, Yuri Gurriel, and here's a relic. So, let's save that to the end of the box. We got Nestor Cortez, Joe Ryan again. Now, I got to double check that Ryan that we got earlier. Because usually you don't get... Oh, okay. I did miss the lights with the Joe Ryan, actually. So the Joe Ryan was a short print. 
And like I said, you gotta be really close. You gotta look really closely. So, um, so it looks like short prints are not flipped around. Sometimes they were, sometimes they weren't. I, I forget if the super short prints were flipped around and then the others weren't last year. So it was nice getting at least a rookie variation. CJ Crone, Josiah Gray. Then we got an Aaron Judge foil. Pinkleton, Tatis, Gateau, rookie. Chris Bryant and Joe Perez, rookie. We got Dylan Cease, Matt Manning, rookie. Jeff McNeil, Walker Buehler, Renee Pinto, rookie there. Not every pack is going to have something. Salvador Perez. And I'm just kind of double checking those bottom numbers. Yep, both end in 11, so most likely nothing. Uh, MJ Melendez, rookie. Alex Thomas, rookie. We do get our first Bobby Witt. And John Carlos Stanton. So happy getting at least one of the Witt bases. This is one of the sets I usually do put together. Um, I open up enough of it where usually I just kind of casually put it together um, without really trying. It's just like I said, I do find these fun. I usually rip open a few more of these than I probably should, but Xander Bogarts, Ethan Roberts, Randy Rosarena, Jacob DeGrom, and then we get a Colton Walker, rookie, foil, Jake Walsh, Duran, rookie, Aaron Nola, Jared Walsh, and Max Muncy. J.P. Sears, Goldschmidt, Duran, uh, Duran, Acuna, we do get a Torkelson in the middle there. Ends in 11, so not a short print. We've got Emmanuel Rivera for the Diamondbacks. It's nice to see, too, with some of the guys that did get traded. Uh, they actually didn't um, just crop out their... Uh, their old pictures they actually gave them new pictures it looks like which is nice in my opinion um, sometimes they would just photoshop their new jersey over top of their old picture and i don't know some of them looked a little silly because i think that uh the uh rivera um definitely is a new picture at least that's not a picture that i have noticed in the past so all right next pack we got steven strasberg jason krizan Santillian, we got Ben Attendi. we do get a Lucas Fox rookie foil, not the foil, not the rookies we're looking for, but it's nice that we're at least pulling the rookies, Vladdy, Bo Bursky, Servino, Cabrian Hayes, and Teoscar Hernandez, we got DJ LeMayne, Cueto, O'Neill Cruz rookie, we got Syndergaard, Anthony Rizzo, which usually, like I said, too, it's usually, I believe, the fifth card. Those both end in 11. Let's just double check the Yelich as well. Ends in 11 as well. Then we got Suzuki, rookie. Contreras, Stephen Kwan, rookie. And Eloy. And brings us to the last pack that we haven't opened yet. Joey Wentz, Whit Merrifield, Joe Denard, Yu Darvish. Christian Walker is our other foil. Mackenzie Gore, rookie in the Nationals uniform. Javier Baez, Willie Adamas, Andrew McCutcheon, and Musgrove. And let's see. Let's see what we get for our relic. We got Patrick Wisdom. I'm assuming with the relic we won't have another hit in this pack. Logan Gilbert, Cody Bellinger, Tyler O'Neill, Altuve, Goriel, and okay. Bryson Scott, or Bryson Stott, uh, Pinstripe, which is nice. Not numbered, but not a bad relic there. I do like it when uh, you at least get a rookie, you at least get um, a jersey that has a little something to it. If it's, you know, more than one color, Pinstripe kind of falls under that for me. So not too bad there at all. Happy, I'm happy about that pool even being a Met fan, but um, not a bad one there. And all right, let's get into the second box, see what we get. 
So like I said, you do get one short print per box on average. You should get a regular short print, I should say. The super short prints for these. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's pull out the Relic Mookie Betts for the Dodgers. And empty box. All right, let's see what we get. First pack, second box. Let's see if we can get at least at least get a maybe at least get a Julio base. I'd be happy. We got Austin Riley, Gio Urshel, Jonathan India, Dansby Swanson. We got Alex Bregman is our foil there. Jake Walsh, Duran, Aaron Nola, Jared Walsh, and Max Muncy. Which I'm feeling like there's definitely some correlations in the packs. So. Because I know Jake Walsh and Jared Walsh were both in the same pack in the other box. And there was a card in between. I'm not too sure if it was Duran or not. I can't remember. But we got Seth Beer, rookie. Taylor Ward. Cal Raleigh, rookie. Tyler Anderson. And we do get a Mookie Betts short print with the candy cane bat. That one definitely sticks out where you can see that one. Manuel Rivera. Alex Manoa. Royce Lewis, rookie. Max Fried and Nolan Arenado. So our second short print, Mookie Betts with that candy cane bat. Like I said, I find these uh, short prints just fun. All right, let's see what we get next pack. So we get Yadier Molina, Luke Williams rookie, Bo Bichette, William Woods, Get another Brandon Nemo uh, foil. Bo Bursky, Springer, Cabrera, Diego Castillo, and Buxton. Cedric Mullins, Cooper Hummel, rookie. And we do get another relic, it looks like, in this pack, which is behind the Hummel. So, as I got some guy driving around with loud music. Uh, Jose Ramirez, not sure if the camera or the uh, microphone picked that up. Bryce Elder, rookie. We got do we get a Mike Trout, do we get a base Julio, and Bryson Stott foil, which has been our best foil pull in my opinion. So we do get the relic, the foil. Not too bad. I'll definitely take that. Uh, Marcus Semyon, Ty France, Stroman, Jake Berger, and Pete Alonzo. So definitely nice getting the Julio. So we got two of the three big names. Uh, still seeing if we can get that Wander. I'm assuming, or at least I'm pretty much assuming Wander's in the checklist. We got Sean Murphy, Hunter Green rookie, Otani. Maricino, Shane Bieber, doesn't look like anything, yep, ends in 11, so nothing there, George Kirby, rookie, Jordan, Reed Detmers, rookie, Alex Thomas again, and we do get another Bobby Witt, so two Bobby Witts, two boxes, happy about that, I do like Bobby Witt a lot, alright, and a couple packs left. Team Machetic, Kershaw, Ryan Peapot, Luis Robert, another Colton Walker. So we're getting some, it's kind of disappointing when you get two boxes and you're getting dupes with the uh, the parallels that are exclusive. Stanton, Jake Walsh, Duran, Nola, and Jared Walsh. So, and on top of that too, getting some duplicate cards, base cards. Definitely a little bit of disappointment. Actually, is that the third Jake Walsh we picked, pulled in this pack, or this box? I don't know. Joe Ryan, rookie, which is good. CJ Crone, Josiah Gray, Dylan Cease. Two Bryson Stotts. Uh, foils within the same box. MJ Melendez, rookie. Alex Thomas, rookie. We do get another Bobby Witt, so I won't complain there. Neither with the Alex Thomases also. Stan and Jake Walsh. 
So two stats. I mean, I'll take it for sure. Lucas Fox, base rookie. We do get the Bryce Harper. Makata. Then we get Castellanos. And Trevor Story, our next uh, foil, which I think that might put us at 10. So we might be done with the foils. Uh, Pickleton, Tatis, Gateau, Chris Bryant, and Joe Perez. We got Nick Allen, rookie. Garrett Cole. Cole Sands, Shane Boz rookie, and Francisco Morales. I doubt he has a short print of some sort. Yep, ends in 11. And also to Salvador Perez, also ends in 11. So didn't have any luck with any of the extra short prints, just one per box, which is fine. MJ Melendez rookie, another Alex Thomas rookie, and a third Bobby Witt in this box. And John Carlos Stanton. So, I don't know. Very um, confusing opening, uh, in my opinion, with the uh, duplicates. Um, but to finish off the box, we got Tommy Romero, Ozzy Albies, Max Kepler, uh, Carlos Correa, Dylan Carlson, Cooper Hummel, rookie, and our relic. For the Yankees, Luis Gill. A little bit of a pinstripe in there, which is nice. Not really the name name I'm looking for, but um, still pretty nice, though. It does have the piece of the pinstripe on there. Like I said, I do like those cards a little bit better when they do have at least that um, going for them. But that's just my opinion. But... Overall, not a bad little opening um, of Holiday. Like I said, none of them being parallels, because especially to usually your parallels are that fifth card in the pack. Um, if it is one of the rainbows, which, or not the rainbow, excuse me, I'm so used to doing rainbows uh, with the regular flagship with the, uh, the foils. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. We did get a, an extra foil. Um, so, not bad that we got two of these stats. Two of the Nemos, which eh, is what it is just because. Um, Trevor Story, decent name. And then we did get two Colton Welkers. Not really a rookie that I'm looking for. The Judge also, too, of course, is nice. Um, not really a, you know, a name I'm looking for. But, you know, we did get what? Two. We got four Bobby Witts. A J-Rod. A Torkelson. We did get our Mookie Betts um, short print with the candy cane bat. We got Joe Ryan, the pitching uh, pitching uh, sh short print with the lights around his neck. If you can see that. And then uh, our two relics, Luis Gill, Bryson Stott. Um, overall, not too happy. I'm pretty happy with these boxes, actually, um, overall. Um, I will definitely be opening up some more of these. I will also be doing... Uh, a couple of buy-in breaks with this as long as I'm able to get uh, enough of the product. Um, I do have some more boxes coming um, as well. So uh, if you're ever looking to get in any of my live breaks, uh, follow me on Instagram. That is where I post my breaks and how you can enter. Uh, first come, first serve. Usually my breaks are pick one team, get two random teams. Um, and then the price, you know, includes shipping. And also, too, if you like the video, greatly appreciate it. Leave a like on it. Leave any comments on Topps Holiday Baseball, these mega boxes. Let me know how you feel. Um, I know these boxes, when they first came out, were selling for about 70 to 80 bucks. Now the price has dropped down to, I want to say, about 38, 40 bucks a box on the secondary market. Um, when I looked, I think two days ago, they were down to around that price. Uh, I'm not too sure if they slipped any further since. Um, but these definitely are a fun rip in my opinion. I enjoy them. Always like to hear from you guys in the comments, what you guys think about these products. And also too, leave a like on the video. And also if you're new, greatly appreciate you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of any of my future uploads. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a great one.